We have a tendency to take for granted our own good health and that of our families. Activity, zest and seemingly untapped energy are characteristic of the childhood and youth of most of us. And yet hundreds and thousands of youngsters live among us who, even though they don't appear different, have some congenital or acquired physical defect which makes them different, abnormal. Although Maria has been able to participate in normal school life, she is excluded from the activities of her friends whenever physical activity is required. An additional hole in the wall of the heart, a congenital heart defect, restricts her life in many ways. She has to walk slowly. The stairways in school seem almost insurmountable. She needs more rest, becomes more easily tired. Even the solicitude of parents and friends becomes depressing, giving life a disheartening gloom that suits young life so poorly. Why was Maria specifically chosen for our scrutiny? For two reasons. During the last 10 years, more and more children with heart defects have undergone surgery. More and more difficult heart conditions are becoming amenable to surgery and medical science is advancing rapidly. And what is the other reason? Most of us, by providing the basic prerequisite for an operation through voluntary blood donations, can extend a helping hand to Maria and others like her. Maria has been going for years, almost all her life, to the heart station of the children's clinic. She has patiently submitted to the numerous examinations by means of which the exact nature and extent of the heart defect is established. The most important and exciting moment in Maria's life is drawing closer. The defect is diagnosed as being correctable through surgery a formerly restricted life might now be replaced by new health. Abnormality is coming to an end. The final confirming tests are taken in the hospital laboratory. The blood group determinations needed for the blood transfusion, which in volume exceeds Maria's own blood volume, have been carried out and the heart surgery, utilizing the heart-lung machine, begins. During the operation, Maria's heart will be stopped for a long period, for half an hour or even longer. Everyone in the working team knows his duties. They are backed up by the experience and skill gained in over a thousand heart operations 
performed at the Helsinki Children's Clinic alone. When Maria's heart is stopped, an artificial heart takes over. It has to be supplied with fresh blood. Fifteen blood donors, who belong to the same blood group as Maria, have been asked to come to the Red Cross Transfusion Center early in the morning before the regular blood donors arrive. They don't know Maria, and they are unknown to her, to her family, and even to the hospital where the operation is performed. Unknown friends, who are giving a life a chance to go on. Every healthy 18-year-old can give blood without any trouble on one or more occasions a year. The donation of blood is painless and takes no longer than half an hour. In the operating room, the artificial heart pumps oxygenated blood into Maria's circulatory system. The brain and other tissues continue operating, even though her own heart has been stopped. The heart muscle is opened. A glance at the clock confirms that there is enough time. The most critical phase is coming to an end. Maria's heart has been given a chance to work efficiently, to direct the bloodstream where it is needed. Thank you. 
at the very same time as Meri's operation is beginning, a treatment procedure is being carried out in another part of the hospital that also requires the assistance of a healthy volunteer. A newborn baby is undergoing a transfusion. The blood of a newborn rhesus baby, which eventually becomes harmful, must be replaced. Two blood donors are again needed, perhaps in the middle of the night. Over 600 transfusions carried out at the children's clinic each year require the blood donations of over a thousand volunteers. Haemophilics under treatment in the hospital also have to rely on the supply of fresh blood. This is a third example where the blood, contrary to the usual case, loses its healing powers in a few hours. moment we have followed a young life. We have taken a look inside hospital walls where the realization of its purpose, preservation of life, depends in part on the receipt of a gift that each one of us can give. <laughs>